Hey, Peter here with Rover Vents. Um, wanted to do an updated install video on our Ford Transit tire carrier. The reason we're doing it is um, we did a lot of testing over the winter and kind of monitoring and watching how the doors open and close. Um, up until now, we've been using this bracket in the middle. You guys will still get this bracket. The reason we kind of developed this bracket in the system is we wanted to have a no drill system. We kind of felt that it was cool not having to drill into the door. And this is working fine, except installing this requires uh, cutting the weather shipping, which is okay, but not ideal. And then we noticed on some, some Fords, and doesn't happen with all of them, uh, there's a little excessive vibration when you open and close the door. Plus this does, um, it does alter. You kind of have to get this guy out of the way. And then you've got this bracket in between the doors. Um, the transit being that not all of them are exactly the same. Like Mercedes is a little more closer to perfect. These doors do um, vary a little bit in sizing. They're a little bit off. Um, these brackets, they have wiggle room on them and they work, but we found a better method. So we want to introduce that method and hopefully have you guys installed that way. Um, so basically to do that, you're going to take this guy and you can keep it. You can throw it away and the new bracket it's going to be this simple L bracket. This piece will go right about here. Now in the future, we're actually going to have a nice bigger bracket with a bigger gasket. Um, and we're going to ship those out to everyone. But for now, this is a really cool solution. In my opinion it does require drilling two little holes in there, but it's a lot cleaner. You're not going to mess with the gasket and you're never going to have any issues opening and closing the doors. Um, yeah. So we'll get to it. As per instructions, we're probably gonna do this a little bit faster. We have a video on how to mount these guys. We'll just go a little bit quicker. We typically start with the upper bracket and the way you can tell the upper bracket, it's got a little weld in it. All right, so we're gonna open up our door. And then uh, number 13 is required to loosen this guy up here. I'm just gonna get this loosened up and I'm gonna grab a little bit of help to uh, help me hold the door while I do that. We're gonna bend this guy away just a tiny little bit, okay? And um, that's the orientation. This is the biggest mistake that people make is they wanna install the bracket like that. That's incorrect, okay? So don't do that. You want to basically fish the bracket through here, okay? We're going to bend the door away for one second, like this. Now, notice I didn't put any blue tape over here because this is a pretty old van, it's a 2015. So the spot where it was at is marked pretty well on it. All right, so we're going to put this guy back in its original position. We're going to put the bracket over and then I'm going to start with the middle guy. Also, not a bad idea to put thread locker um, on these guys. We're probably gonna take this on and off uh, since it's a demo van. So I'm not gonna do that right now. And notice I'm gonna hand tighten the three bolts before I actually uh, use my wrench again. Cool. So that looks like it's in the same spot. We're gonna tighten just a little bit. Cool. So I didn't, I didn't tighten them all the way. Now I want to make sure the door is opening and closing like it was before. Okay. Make sure you check that this is not moving. A lot of times if you misalign the hinge, it will not catch the, that upper latch over here. Okay. But this is catching it very nicely on the bottom. Line is looking pretty good. See how that one is closing. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna continue. The bottom one, you should still have someone hold the door for you. I've done a lot of these and you could do it. You know, once that guy is up there, you should be okay. But we'll probably call someone to help us with this one as well. I'm gonna grab some help for the third one. Okay, 
out. So remember the orientation uh, on the outside is like that. So we're gonna bend this guy back, fish through, put it right back in there. Super important when you're doing this, you wanna do this part by hand, all three of them, before you use any tools. Again, thread lock is recommended on here, even though it doesn't have it from the factory. Cool, now once we have it hand tightened, you guys wanna align the bracket, make sure it's not touching anything. There's a little bit of wiggle room on there. And I can see from the markings on the inside from the dirt that this is aligned perfectly like it was before. So we're gonna hand tighten this one. Cool, and again, we're gonna see how the door is opening and closing. Yep. Looks pretty good. So next, what we wanna do is we're actually gonna take the whole assembly, we're gonna put it up to the car, and that's gonna help us find where the new bracket is gonna go, okay? So this will actually require this guy going on and coming off. Okay, you're good on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, we're gonna tighten this so it's still loose where you can move it up and down, but it's tight so that we can kind of find the position that we're looking for. Move it up and down. Cool. Okay, you can actually let that go. So this is tight enough where I can move it up and down. Okay, so what we're gonna be looking for is where this one will go. Same kind of drill, we're gonna get it just tight enough to, um, to find, uh, to mark where we're gonna drill. Okay, so I kinda, I kinda have it, same thing, where I can move it up and down, but it's just, tight enough just to find that position. Okay. So the idea of this guy is you wanna have it in the middle, okay? So you have room up and down, you kinda wanna position this in the middle, okay? Then coming back here, we're gonna lift this guy up, same thing to about a middle position, and then we're gonna tighten it up just to hold it in place. Okay. So now we have our spot to where, where this guy will go, where the L bracket will go. Okay, Let's see, I can, I'm probably, I'm gonna go up a little bit with it actually, just to make sure that I'm getting like the most flat spot. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go above this little curve here. So this looks perfectly good on, on that. So Marty, our camera guy, just had a better idea than what we've been doing. What we're gonna do actually, is we're gonna tape this guy up like this. And then we're simply gonna mark the middle. Drilling like that. Cool, so now we're gonna take this unit off, make some holes and come back and uh, install the unit. We're gonna remove the panel, plastic uh, pry tool. You can get these on Amazon anywhere. These actually pop up pretty easy on the transit, but do be careful not to damage things. So we're gonna start with drilling pilot holes. So just any smaller um, bit will do. And there's two 
pieces of metal, which is why we chose the spot that we chose, okay? So once you kind of like pitch. Yep, that second one is a little stronger too. So we're gonna use a uh, Loctite rust uh, treatment. I've got a little bit of this in this bottle. All right, and hopefully you can do a better job than I am. I'm gonna have to wipe the excess off on that. All right, and you wanna let that dry for about, that takes about half an hour, give or take. So we're all nice and dry over there. Time to put this guy back on. gasket will go in between. I'll go right there. You're gonna start by tightening this part up. Once this is nice and tight over here, okay. Again, we're gonna kind of see where we want the entire unit. So. Here it's nice in the middle. I like I like this position here. So I'm gonna tighten these guys up. And then we're gonna tighten these guys up. So at this point, obviously we're gonna have to uh, install the rest of the bolts on the upper and lower portion, but for the purpose of the video, this is the new install method. Um, we're hoping to develop a cover that's gonna go on here, so this way you don't see the silver hardware, and we're developing a cover that goes on the outside pieces as well. Um, but again, we find this is a cleaner install. I think it looks better. The doors close very nicely. Um, and the main thing is now you're not messing with the gasket and you're not putting anything in between the doors, which wasn't a huge problem, wasn't actually a problem at all. We just found that this method is better. Um, the main, I think, advantage of doing it this way, it eliminates vibrations uh, on the door. Uh, it just eliminating that third bracket, which, you know, eliminating this guy allowed us to have a system that moves a lot less, uh, hence it's a little bit better. So yeah, this is your ladder tire carrier install with a drill through bracket that we highly recommend using from now on.